All right, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be starting my video series on Discord scrim bot for uh, Fortnite. I'm going to be using Discord.js throughout this series, and uh, just to show you an example, so a pro the project at the end will be looking something like this. So you have your the embed uh, embeds that's going to say a welcoming message, an approximate time, and then the code. So if I if I start it. You see how it starts. It's 25 minutes. This is gonna slowly go down every minute, and then you can you can write any code you want, and it it'll keep only the last the last version you've written. And uh, other than that, all the messages get deleted. If I would have someone else in here, it would regroup us together all codes if we have the same, etc. All right. So to get started, well most firstly you'll need a Node.js. So just Google quick Node.js. It'll open up the website. Download this for Windows, Mac, Linux, doesn't matter. Make sure you install it after. And once you got that done, you're going to go and grab a code editor. So if you don't have a text editor, uh, I would recommend getting uh, VS Code on Google. It'll bring you to Visual Studio Code. Just download it, it's free. Windows, Mac, Linux, doesn't matter. Um, install it, and then once you're installed, we're ready to go. Alright, so now that you got everything downloaded and installed and ready to go, we're going to need to create our, our project directory. So, for me, I just went into my documents, I created a folder called YouTube, and then inside of that, I created a folder called SnipeBot, and all my code and everything related to the, to the bot will be in this folder right here. So, make sure that you do create a folder as well, specifically for the bot, and the folder is currently empty. So once you got this this folder uh, set up, you're gonna have to open your PowerShell, uh, preferably PowerShell if you're on Windows. If you're on Mac or uh, Linux, you're gonna open your terminal, and you're gonna type cd space, and then you're gonna drag your folder in. That's gonna change your directory in this shell so that you are exactly there. So if I press Enter, now you can see that I am in my documents, YouTube, and Snipebot. And then if I want to list what's in here, there's completely nothing. So we got a blank project folder and we're about to start. So first thing, we're going to need to uh, initialize our project. So npm init, then you press enter. So this will open up this thing and it'll ask you your package name. You can just press enter at everything here, it does not really matter. And at the end it's going to ask uh, to confirm, so you just type yes, enter. All right. So now if I list everything again, you can see that now I have a package.json. That's going to be where we store all our files that we will need for um, packages. So let's say like discord.js package, it's going to be in here. So to get the discord.js package, we're going to npm install. I'm going to center this in the screen so you guys see it better. So npm install, you write discord.js double dash save. The reason we add save is because it's going to update our package.json so we don't have to go manually write it every time. And if I hit enter, it's going to load up a few things. And as you can see, we added eight package, uh, packages from uh, seven different contributors. So um, if I list my stuff again, now you see I got node modules and package.json. So this is our, the starting. Uh, of the project, nothing is ready to roll yet. So now that we have this going, you can go and open up your text editor. So I'm gonna open up uh, VS Code for me. Uh, you can open whichever one if whichever one you have, and you're just gonna go open folder. Remember where you you put your stuff at. So like for me, documents, YouTube, and the snipe bot. Open the complete folder for this. Now that you have the folder open. You can X out this welcome. That doesn't matter. So now you can see that we have the previous file we just generated and any everything else is blank. So we're going to start off by creating a new file. It's going to be called settings.json. And this is where we're going to keep our bot settings and stuff. So open a curly bracket and just type in prefix and then I'm going to use the exclamation point as my prefix. So you can use whichever one you want. This is the thing that you write in front of the command so that the command gets executed. The bot will only read that. So start with that. I'm going to write also token. 
and then I'll leave this blank for now and then I'm gonna write owner this is not useful if your bots only on one channel uh, on one server but this can get uh, pretty useful once you get a few servers going because you need to have control over the bot alright and I'll leave these blanks for now alright so now we're gonna come right back here in a second first we have to s create a new uh, discord application so I'm gonna just put this on the side for now close this and type in discord app dot com slash developers once you got that it's sh for me it goes automatically to applications but you might have to click on something to get to applications and just create a new application I'm gonna call it YouTube scrim bot and then you save these changes the name and everything doesn't really matter and then you click on the left here on the bot tab so we were in general information go to bot add a bot yes I would like to alright and then you see here it says token click to reveal so open this up copy the whole thing you can click here to copy it actually and this is the key technically to connect your bot to your code so if we open our the the page we previously in so the settings.json file that we just written the token section of it is completely empty right now so we're gonna copy our token and owner is technically your um, it's your discord ID right so if you don't know how to get it um, so you can go you can right click on on your name and copy ID or you can you got to make sure though that you're in a developer mode so if you can discord settings I think uh, I don't remember exactly where this is. Uh, user settings, and then you would go to probably privacy. Give me just one sec. I'm just gonna find where that is. All right. So yeah, appearance. Scroll all the way down. Advance developer mode make sure this is on because if it's not on you can't you can't right click to check ID alright so just right click on your name copy ID bring it over just copy your ID as your uh, owner and then we'll save this and we can close it for now we don't have to worry about it and uh, create a new file we're gonna kill it, call it index.js so this is like the, the starting file for our bot this is where everything's gonna uh, evolve from I think my window might be a bit too small for you guys. I'm going to try to fix that for you. Um, so first thing, we're going to create a constant. We're going to call it Discord. And this is going to uh, require the Discord.js package. So here I'm declaring that we need this Discord package that's in our node module here for this file so without having this I cannot use anything from the framework that I just showed you like from, from this website here I can't use anything here until I require the package um, alright so now that we have uh, our package required we're also going to need to create a bot so our bot technically we can call it constant I'm gonna name it bot you can name it everything you want but Find bot makes sense, and it's going to be a new Discord um, client. Discord.client. So now we're declaring that our bot here is a Discord client. And if you open the documentation and you go on client, here you can see the properties, the methods, and the events that you can use on your client. So if ever you want to do other things than the one I'm going to be showing you, you can go in here and you can look it up. Alright, so to get everything started, we're just gonna go and get access to our to our settings file. So you know how we we just uh, wrote settings.json here. We need these things for uh, for our bot. So I'm gonna go get them. So we're at constant. All right, settings. It's gonna require that we have our settings.json. So settings now is gonna be holding 
all the data that we have here. So if I want to get the prefix token or owner, I'm just going here. The constant, I'm going to call it prefix. Prefix, and it's going to be equal to settings dot prefix. Create a new one for token settings dot token, and then constant owner settings dot owner. So here we import our bot settings or data, as you could say. Up here we require our packages. And here we initialize our bot. Alright, so right now this does completely nothing though. To get something going. Firstly, we need to log into our bot. So, oh my god, I can't type. Um, so to log in, we're going to use this bot.login function. And inside the parameters, you're going to log in with your token. So, this, this huge uh, string of characters right here is how to connect to your bot. So, just uh, bot.login, you put your token. It logs you in, and then the bot still does nothing, right? So let's do a quick, uh, just a test, see everything's good. So bot.on, ready. This is going to be an async function with no parameters. And we're just going to console.log. Hello, I'm ready. All right. So we declare our framework, we get our settings. We initialize our bot, we import our data, and then when the bot is online, so when it's ready, it's going to uh, try to say this message if it logs in correctly. So let's, let's test it. All right, let's test our bot. Firstly, we're going to make sure you save your file. And after that, we're going to go in uh, up here on the tab, and you click New Terminal. When you do that, you're going to be able to see down here this window pop up. And it should already have the, the current directory of your project. So you don't have to like uh, change the directory towards it. So to test it, we're gonna, you type in node and then you type index.js. So we're going to uh, activate the node and JS framework. And we're going to execute our file that we just wrote. So node.js here. This is the starter file. So we're always going to node.index.js to, to actually test. So press enter. Hello, I'm ready. So yeah, we're connected, the bot's ready, the initial uh, settings set up for the bot cur uh, works well. Now you see how this is still just like a running thing, make sure you control C to uh, stop it, stop the process, because if not it's just going to always run in your background. Alright, well this is the end for uh, part one of the video. Uh, so we pretty much just initialized our bot and set up our, our files and packages. In part two we're going to touch on... Uh, the command handler, how to write your own command handler to uh, to load up files and use them as commands, and then part three to part six most likely will be all the scrim related code for the last three where you you collect them and then you sort them out and you put them back on the screen. So uh, make sure you subscribe to follow the series, and uh, co if you have any questions, make sure you comment. I'll try to respond to them. Uh, if I get a lot of comments for uh, for the series, I'll, I'll try to release the videos faster. Alright, well thank you. Have a good day. Bye.